welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a laundry room barn door that I created. Um, Pinterest um, inspired and absolutely in love. I used my Cricut to make it and this is just the beginning. So this is the design and watch it come to life. Here are the tools that I used. It's actually a barn door kit that I purchased off of Amazon. This is the second one that I have installed. It's called Skysin. The first door was six feet. This second door was five feet, five foot. And it is, it's beyond easy to install. Now here is a photograph of the first door that I made. Typical barn door, but for the laundry room, I wanted something different. So here I am down in the barn with John. This is our woodworking room. And it was actually a cold day, but we were working hard. And it's, it's almost amazing the fact that paper crafting has come into play while creating with wood. So I envision it, and instead of it being paper, it's now wood. And I'm getting so familiar with the tools that I actually love the fact that my design concepts are now bigger than three-dimensional, if that's, if that's something that can be said. It's still three-dimensional. All right, here is the door. And we're almost done with it, final touches, but oh my God, I'm telling you, I drew this out and each piece, I, I, I literally just had to bark out sizes to my husband. I'm like, okay, three and a half by four inches, blah, 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 blah. And he just cut it. And then as he cut it, I was putting the puzzle together. Yeah, our barn is an animal barn and we do have cows and chickens down there, but it's a multi-level barn that was built in the 1800s. And this section of the barn, we created it into a wood workshop. I did put and a piece of plexiglass on it golden. because I wanted it to look like a laundry mat kind of a door. I am in love with this, in love with it. So we created it down in the barn. We did not nail it. We brought it all back up to the house and I re put it together. So we're down in the big barn. Yeah, I'm in more work clothes. Yay, we're taking the sawdust off of us. Um, we did not turn the bullet heater on, and now we've been down here for probably about an hour and a half. Yep, it's cold. And it's starting to get cold. So we just finished cutting all the wood. Now we're going to take this home. I'm going to put it on the dining room table, and I'm going to stain it. And then with the brad nailer, I'm going to finish it 100%. So keep watching. Here it is on the dining room table, and here is the stain that I used throughout the house and all the product projects that I have been working on. Love this color, love this stain. So after we put it back together, I stained it and this is how gorgeous it came out. Oh my goodness. All right, then we hung it. It looks so amazing. Oh my gosh, so, so in love with this. 
here it is. It is on the tracks. Once I got on the tracks, I was be I was able to envision what I wanted the door to look like, or the the plexiglass on the door. I actually frosted it. Didn't love the spray frosting, so I actually went to a local hardware store and I bought contact paper. It gives it an an old vintage look for me that reminds me of I don't know school school doors, doctor's doors, I don't know. You let me know what you think. But I designed it on the Cricut, cut it onto vinyl, and here I am actually prepping it to be put on the door. There you have it. The laundry room door. Do you not love it? Oh my gosh. I actually have two more pieces. I don't know if I'm going to add them. I think it looks perfect just the way it is. Wow. I'm in love. All right. So I don't know what part of this I did and what I didn't. So this is the barn door that I created right and it actually goes around the radiator watch this so when you open it yay this one did not have to do that that is a five foot bar this had to be the six foot bar because this door is 36 inches all right so this is how it went from this in Cricut to cutting the vinyl and making it. Oh my gosh. I hope this video does it justice. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.